it's horrific, dude. Like, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Pretty good, just playing games with the family right now. Today, we were gonna do a PC giveaway, we still are, but the motivation behind the video has gotten a little bit more urgent and changed. First, we're planning to do just a, you know, go lucky, go happy PC build where you would just follow us to enter or maybe even purchase something from our website to enter to promote our sales. Honestly, there's just something more important in this world and right now that we need your help with and that's gonna be the typhoon that just hit the Philippines. That's a uh, Typhoon Odette. It's basically been a travesty over there. So for Christmas, there's a lot of families without a home the winds and the water just kind of flooded everywhere. The modules of her children who are now seeking shelter under a makeshift tent. Oh my God, oh, no. And one of my good friends who as a PC modder really was an inspiration when I first started, Bob Stewart from BS Mods. I remember modeling some of our the mod parts for one of my first competition entering mods at QuakeCon after a project that he did. And when I took it there, he actually was standing next to my build, admiring it when I first met him. And it was a huge honor, I was over the moon. Since then, we just became really good friends. We've even collabed on different projects, like he did a Zotac build that was featured at CES, that I got to make a cool RGB backlit plate for it. We just kept meeting every CES, we got to really know each other. And I believe his wife is from the Philippines and they're over there for the holidays and for vacation. While he's there, this kind of hit. I'm hoping his family's okay and everything, but he did throw up a GoFundMe. It would be great to give back to those people and help those people in need. And I know Bob's a stand-up guy. He's gonna take every dollar and use it to the best ability to help the people out around him. So I wanted to actually take this build and use it as a way to bring awareness to the issue, as well as to help get them some help. So the way to enter for this PC build is gonna be, you just donate to Bob Stewart's GoFundMe. But the PC we're gonna to build today, we're working with the famous artist, uh, Dominic Glover. All his art you can see behind me, it's amazing, insane stuff. And we're gonna trick out this whole PC with his artwork. And instead of you know, giving it away by following us. You can do that too if you'd like. It's just gonna be to go and fund that GoFundMe. The parts that we're gonna be using today are gonna be this Corsair CX650M for the power supply. It's gonna be powering a pretty badass AMD 8-core 5800X from their fifth gen series CPUs. This is an 8-core 16-thread monster, and we're gonna be doing it on a RG Strix ASUS B550 gaming motherboard which has built-in Wi-Fi. It's got an amazing CMOS um, reset on the back, so really easy to diagnose issues with this board. It's got some overclocking features too. It's got a heat sink for the M.2 NVMe SSD drive, which today we're gonna be using a Crucial P2. Crucial's always been a huge supporter of our brand and company. You've probably seen them in our photos all over our website. So uh, they provide awesome hardware all the time, so that's gonna be that SSD as well as 32 gigs of this white ARGB RAM. Uh, this is the Ballistic Series DDR4 3200 megahertz, and it will sync with all the mod parts we use in this project. And to cool it is gonna be this H100i Corsair Elite Capellix AIO cooler. It's a 240 millimeter variant. It's got the ARGB fans on there and the ARGB pump top. We got it in this really clean white aesthetic. It's gonna go with the white Lee and Lee PC-11 case that we're gonna use, and it's gonna look amazing. So it's gonna be just like kind of a neutral balance for the art to be a canvas over. It's gonna be pretty high-end, and even if you're not interested in winning and you just wanna give back to the Philippines, if you do win the PC, you could sell it and then reinvest that into the GoFundMe. That would be huge. Or just, you know, give it to a friend or a family member that needs something. It's again, all for a good cause, and it's gonna be epic. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the build, but before we do that, we're gonna get on a call with Bob Stewart to go over the situation more with you guys and talk about that. He said he's gonna call me right now. So we got in a quiet place while we're here making all the mod parts. Hey Bob, how's it going? Good man, how are you doing? Doing great, we're here at the warehouse getting the PC mod parts set up, but how are you doing on your end? Oh, I'm doing all right. It's so hot here. Oh my God. It's just crazy hot. Tell me what the situation yeah, just, is. Oh, dude, it's just insane. Like, um, I mean, we were in Cebu and, and we found out that the, uh, 
the storm was coming and the typhoon, you know, and so we tried to make it back. We, we actually live on a different island, so we were trying to make it back. We'd only gone for one day, and then we made a five-hour bus trip all the way to the port, and the Coast Guard had shut it down. So we got stuck there on the island um, in Cebu, and uh, they were in the direct path. I mean, we're talking sustained winds of 120 or better with gusts up to 170 miles an hour. It just rips anything apart. And I mean, there's trees, dude, that are like 200 years old or more. Been there for 200 years and it withstood everything and they just got obliterated. So yeah, right now the situation is uh, no power now, still probably not for, I don't know, a month or longer. There's no water, there's no, no, no gas. People here don't have generators and stuff. I mean, they're just at the mercy of mother nature pretty much you know anything they did have is gone like just gone dude roofs are gone whole houses are gone cars are gone people are gone i mean there's just still so many people missing and there's no communication so we really don't know how bad it actually is because we can't nobody can communicate so even if they're laying there dying it's horrific dude like i've never seen anything like this in my life it's kind of a blessing to have the connection to you because the dollar here goes way further over there and one of the difficulties oh, yeah. is actually getting the money from here to there and actually have yeah. it, you know, not divided 10 times by the time it gets there. Right. So right. having you just there is going to create a much better direct, you know, from from us to you. Yeah. To the community dude i appreciate anything and i appreciate what you've already done you know i don't expect anything but i sure do appreciate anything that comes our way you know to help out well we're gonna let you get back to saving lives we're gonna get back to just right, doing right. whatever we can and uh we'll talk soon okay okay buddy thank you yeah thank take you it easy yeah okay, bye. i don't really care if this video gets a lot of views or not you know we're not so big on youtube as it is I really wish we did already have a big following so we can push more awareness to this. But if it's not the video, just try to share the GoFundMe, text it to people, put it, link it in your stories, do whatever you can. If you can incentivize people to enter the giveaway because they're into a PC, it is what it is. All we care about is just bringing as much attention as we can to this problem and getting people to donate. If it's not through Bob, look at other means like other foundations that are supporting the typhoon issue over there it's typhoon odette but again we appreciate share this uh share the link to the gofundme do what you can guys we're gonna get back to the build so we got this leanly pco 11. this is like the holy grail of computer cases it's so easy to build in it's so easy to make look amazing uh, a lot of people rack on it because so many people use it but you cannot get a better case for the price it's it's a top seller for a reason right and here they give you a cool thank you for your purchase note which is always super cool so you got the dust filter down there nice rubber feet on these plastic injection molded uh pieces right here typically everything like Lian Lee makes a super high quality we got the white version here so this is going to be our canvas for all the art for dominic lover um this back panel we're going to be able to direct sublimation dye using our uv printer here at v1 tech to customize it with a graphic uh, same with this top layer right here. We've got a really nice brushed aluminum front right here. So we'll do a, a cool satisfying peel if I could even grab it. There it is. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and in this case, it's got black and white, but we're going to try to take all the black pieces out. We don't have any physical SSDs. So down here, we got our SSD trays. We're going to go ahead and remove those. Um, in here, they did the black and white pattern, and you got the Debauer collab badge right here on the back. I think we're gonna do a cover here to make it more minimalist with uh, Dominic Lover's designs. Now that we got the case opened up, we're gonna get it ready for hardware. I like to use the case box, just store everything as we work on it. This right here is a cool addition where you can put actual full-size hard drives and more SSDs if you need it. In this build, we only have the NVMe. So to make things easy and accessible, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. All right, so now I'm gonna get this case out of the way since it's prepped and prep the, the motherboard. We'll take the motherboard out of the anti-static bag. That looks really nice. Something that would've been really cool if we got an all white motherboard to go with this case and this memory and the AIO cup cooler. But Asus, uh, you know, they've been pulling back on that just because every time they do it, it costs them a fortune to do a white PCB. 
and it just doesn't move as much volume. So sawing ram is super simple. You just gotta make sure your notch is where it needs to go. Press down on the back, press down on the front, it clicks in. Everybody's happy. After we've installed the ram, we're gonna go with the NVMe. And that's the NVMe SSD we're gonna be using. It's a P2 by Crucial. Insane read and write speeds. I cannot believe 500 gig NVMe SSD speeds for 50 bucks is a thing. So we're gonna remove the heat sink here at the top of the board. Just two screws there. Something we could get into the future, especially with the really popular motherboards, you could actually die sublimate and customize these heat sinks. So you can actually do a customized motherboard. I'm gonna leave that as a teaser. We're not doing it today. It's just not in the cards for time. If they could figure out a way to eliminate the need for the screw, it would be like my favorite day ever. All right, now that we got that installed, you can't even see that there's a drive in this thing. It's literally hidden. This is the champ of the project. So to install the CPU, you got the pins on this side. You don't want to bend any of those. You're just going to go straight into the holes. So we're just going to put that in very lightly and it just slides in so simple like that. We'll install this motherboard real quick. Get that in there nice and easy. Uh, other than that, we're going to go to the warehouse and get this thing customized with the mod parts. Okay, so this is an outline for how our mod parts are going to be. So now we've got all the templates for our mod parts. We're going to go ahead and fill it in with the graphics. So Dominic Glover has a ton of different designs to choose from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate as many different animes and characters as possible to make this appealing to a wider audience. And so like, even if you're not a fan of some of them, you would still like that it has certain characters that you do like. And the fact that it has many others is just a cool thing to have. And maybe you'll learn more about them. And now we got just so much art on this computer. All the mod parts featuring some of the best designs by Dominic Lover. I uh, can't wait for him to see this. And then let's get these parts made. And then we'll them the build to show you the final product. All the other mod parts already have back stock, so we don't need to laser cut it. We got it here in our engraving software that talks to this laser right here. Of course, we got a couple big dogs this way, um, but we're not gonna need it for this one panel. Uh, we have some 316 frosted sandblasted acrylic here that we're going to bend there like that. Now we got the air compressor running, so it'll blow air as it's cutting. We just need to turn on our exhaust fans. That's gonna pull all the fumes out. And we can send this job over. The fan grills over here. These came out super detailed. Get a close up. Like that's the back plate. Wow. All that detail. I just can't wait to see this lit up. This is gonna be a support bracket underneath like that. Look, we got four different pieces of artwork all going together. Perfect. Look at this bottom panel. It's just a work of art. Let's go. This is how I would have the art displayed on my wall if I got all of these designs separately, which we can do with our plexiglass wall art. We'll see what the setup looks like once we get it done. Got back from the warehouse, we made all the custom mod parts. Now we're just gonna wrap up the build. We, we got our ARGB fans. We're gonna go ahead and install those first. I was able to get a ASUS Strix Gaming 3060. This was a little difficult to find. Micro Center, we went there first, and we got this GTX 1660 for $480. But I wanted to just put something much higher end in this build. So this is gonna go back now that I was able to get this guy. But I did pay about $1,000 second hand to grab this on Facebook Marketplace, tested it out, make sure it's all working perfectly. It's kind of weird because we could have put that $1,000 straight into the donation for the GoFundMe to help those people. That being said, I am confident in this build. It's gonna be epic. I know you guys are gonna kill that donation. And it's gonna be well worth it. So 
If you guys see this, it's almost a $3,000 plus dollar gaming PC with the mod parts, it's even more um, that you're gonna be getting. And just for like a $5 donation at the minimum. Please, 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 I'm trusting you guys. Knock it out of the park. Give as much as you can. Let's help these people out. Let's, let's do it. You guys are gonna love this, check it out. Hey Dominic! How's it going man? Just playing games with the family right now. Merry Christmas. Yeah, you too, you too. So you ready to see the awesome. PC? We decked it out with all your art. Awesome, I'm really excited to see it. All right, three, two, one. Boom. Okay, that is pretty <laughs> cool. So we Dang. got a lot of different panels here. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I've, I've never seen anything like this, so that was pretty uh, cool to see. Uh, get to finally see my arm, you know, presented this way because I yeah, this is completely brand new to me And then we also got it here on the the back panel and the oh, top dang. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like the top with the, all the lightning and everything, but hold on I got one more thing to show you boom <laughs> Dude that is cool, man Yeah, this is this is super cool so it's all ARGB backlit. Wow. It looks amazing. So how, long, how long did it take you to put all this together then? We've actually been nonstop doing it since yesterday. Um, you know, we wanted to get it done today by Christmas. Uh, I know originally our plan was to give it away uh, with just doing a follow for both channels and that was it, but something bigger came up and I want to include okay. you on that. So, um, you know, the, in uh, the Philippines and Malaysia, uh, Typhoon Odette just hit. It's it's pretty crazy over there. Like everything's destroyed. People don't have food. People don't have water. Uh, people's homes are gone. And this isn't just like people our age. It's families with kids that are just setting up tents and like begging for just some water. And yeah. uh, one one of our friends who's a PC modder uh, actually went over there with his wife um, for vacation for Christmas, and they're in the middle of it. And so he's raising money to go out and get food and clean water from areas that are not affected and bring it to the people who are affected. Uh, so what we wanna do is we actually wanna give this PC away and for people to enter, they gotta actually uh, donate to his GoFundMe okay. to enter it to win the PC. So we're gonna make it okay. about, um, to bring awareness uh, more to this issue and hopefully during, um, you know, it's Christmas and uh, this is happening right now, so it's kind of urgent. Yeah. Um, so we wanted to push through, get this done. Uh, I wanted to show it to you with all your art, and um, hopefully yeah. we can uh, we can uh, create an impact here, save some lives, and do what we can. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that's awesome. Yeah. So appreciate you, Dominic. We'll get you uh, all the footage and everything here soon, and we'll we'll cool. do a giveaway post on this thing. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks. No, I appreciate you, Dominic. Thanks for your awesome work on your art. And uh, this yeah. is going to be sick. Alright, I'll talk to you guys soon, alright? Yeah, you too. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Alright guys, build came out amazing. It's honestly one of the coolest things we've gotten to do in a while. It feels good to give back. And now at the end of the year, coming to the close, we got to say a huge thank you. This wouldn't be possible without our customers and our fans. Um, you guys support us like crazy. We've been growing like super fast. And we're about to go into a new space. And this is just something small that we can do right now to give back to people in need. While we're blessed, we want to give back as much as we can. So guys, if you want a chance to win SPC or if you just want to help some people out, please, please, please donate. We want to hit at least $5,000. That's our goal. You could just take five minutes out of your day, share this video, share the donation link, do whatever you can, get people to contribute. It'll increase your chance of winning if you really want this PC. It's going to be an amazing build. We really hope Whoever does win it, loves it. For the top donations, on the follow-up when we announce the giveaway, we're gonna put you guys in the credits, so the top 10 donators 
are gonna be shouted out and credited in that next video. So please, as much as you can. And a uh, huge shout out to Bob Stewart, he's a hero. Every time he gets any kind of money, he's renting a truck, he's going to areas where they have food and clean water that's not affected, picking up what he can and going out and distributing it in the affected areas. He's bringing in medicine, filtered water, food, clothes, anything possible. You can't really send clothes from here to there. You can't really send food from here to there. The only thing we can do is give him some funding to go and do that while he's there. And a dollar here goes way further over there. You can get a full set of clothing for one person for a couple bucks. So $5 is really going a lot further than you think and every dollar counts. We've already received a huge, tremendous amount of support. Before this video has even gone live, we've beat halfway through our uh, donation goal. We're, I believe, at the $3,000 mark. So just getting that last two is all we need from this video. If you guys want to, we'd appreciate just sharing the GoFundMe link if that's all it takes and a text message to your friends and family. Just tell them to donate what they can and heck, maybe they, they'll win the PC and it'll help you get more entries. Let's do what we can and we appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks again, guys. This is Hassan here, CEO and founder of V1 Tech. Um, stay tuned for the next one. We're gonna announce the winner and go public with the part two of this video with the results in about a week to 10 days. So stay tuned for that and thank you for your support. Peace.